Well, everybody, I'm sure we're all familiar with the, these Torchier floor lamps from the late 90s, early 2000s, or whenever they were new. And this current lamp has a, a 300 watt uh, halogen style light bulb and uses up an insane amount of energy and it gets really hot. So if I was to throw a blanket up or something over it, I could actually start a fire. And of course, it does put off a pretty generous amount of light, as you can see. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to wire this into it. This is a recessed LED dimmable panel. There's the specs. 1580 lumens, 18 watts. That looks pretty good to me. So today I'm going to walk you through on how to wire one of these into a lamp like this. In fact, I've gotten over here, it's already done. This one here, kind of guessing how well you can see that. Yeah, it's a 20... That's a 21 watt. This one's only 18 because it's a smaller lamp head. Now the first thing that has to be done is to remove power from the floor lamp. Before proceeding, you'll want to ensure that the existing light bulb has had a decent enough time to cool off. Okay, good, it has. Now the only tool you'll need, tools you'll need for this are a Phillips head screwdriver and some wire strippers, which I need to go look for. Okay, so I got the Phillips head screwdriver and the wire strippers, or a wire cutter also. Now you're going to take your Phillips head screwdriver, remove this screw here, this one here. That will remove these little tabs, and then you can remove the glass heat shield. Once that is done, and you've removed it, you can remove the glass heat shield and the light bulb. You're going to take another Phillips head. Now, take the Phillips head again, remove that screw right there. You can dispose of this. You'll be removing all of this old hardware. Now, you'll take the Phillips head screwdriver one more time, remove these two screws here that hold on the light socket, and after that, you will cut off the wire that leads into the socket, or the wires, I'm sorry. Once you have removed all the old hardware, you can get rid of this heat shield, but this is optional. Okay, um, let's need two hands. Now the heat shield is off, and the wires on there are already stripped. I've, I've stripped the, the wires on the panel too. You can reuse the old wire nuts if they still have the, the metal coil in them, which that one does. So does that one. Sometimes the coils get ripped out when you jerk the wires out of them. So now I'll need two hands one more time and I'll be right back. Once you're done, it should look like this. In the other times I've done this, it doesn't matter uh, where the blue wire, blue wire and the red wire go. So now, we'll get this the rest of the way together and see how it works. Hey guys. Once you're done, it should look like this. Much safer and a lot more efficient to run every day. I'll turn off the rest of the lights in here. Now the rest of the lights are, are off in here except for the floor lamp. As you can see, it's not the brightest thing in the world, but it's pretty nice. So, that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.